by Johansson. In goes Jonathan with it. Oh, what a hit he gave Butler, who's playing without a stick. A heavy going there. Butler and Jonathan square away. And Jonathan grabs him by the jersey. Down they both go. Butler down. Jonathan pounding away. And Butler trying to swing. And Jonathan does the job, as he has so many times in battles. His last one against Mike Christie at Boston Garden. She uh, picked the handle uh, here, but Jonathan took a hard hit originally from Butler, and then back again he came. And here's the uh, start of the uh, battle between Butler. And here is Kelly, knocked down by Wensick, and this could be a good goal. Wensick and Bob Kelly. And uh, Wensick is pulling his hair, and that could be a problem. That could be an added penalty as Kelly fires away at Wednesday. And Kelly getting extra blows in. Now Wednesday flashes it with a heavy weight as he flips away from it. But hair pulling is not allowed, and Wednesday might be called on that. Wednesday throwing a right at Kelly. These are two battling heavyweights, and Wednesday gets it down. And now separated by the linesman. away from McNabb and pounded him to the ice and Alex Pyrus pounded by Wensick and Pyrus now up ready to go after him Milbury moving in and I tell you everything broke loose Wensick poking at Pyrus now and Wally Harris the referee is trying to stop it O'Reilly ready to move in on that one O'Reilly just pulled Jensen away and flailed away and listen to the fans thrown out of the game came over to challenge the entire Minnesota team. Back now Lowell McDonald. Drops it. Kept in by Russ Anderson. The shot is wide. Anderson and Cashman ready to go. Cashman with that left. Landed a couple early. Throwing the left in O'Reilly style. Indeed. Drops it for McNabb, and his shot is over the net. 20 seconds left. Anderson hit by Cashman. They battle from behind. Anderson tags Cashman. Down they go, renewing the battle that they had earlier. Anderson and Wayne Cashman. 15 seconds left in the period. O'Reilly knocks him down and pounds away. O'Reilly and Playden really going at it. Now wrestling. That's a turret battle behind the net. Terry O'Reilly and Tom Bladen. from O'Reilly. It rolls around the Jerry Hart. Hart trying to come out. O'Reilly flattens Gillies. And they're ready to go. And they do. And Gillies moves right on him. Oh, and really hit O'Reilly. And flailed away. O'Reilly coming back, trying to put Gillies in. And a good battle here with Gillies getting the early going. O'Reilly trying to get loose from the jersey and tie him up. But did not. They O'Reilly now is free of the jersey. And 
Gillies has him pinned. Shot by DuPont. Rebound. Jonathan, and he clears. And the power play, Philadelphia. Barry Dean is out. And here's Jonathan and DuPont at center ice. Stan Jonathan and Andre DuPont. Head to head. Helmet to helmet. Jonathan's picked himself a pretty tough customer, but at this moment, he's handling himself pretty well. John, I gotta give it to Jonathan on points. Gotta give it to Jonathan on points, which is astounding. Well, I think the Bruins bench, as you saw them patting the boards, they were a little apprehensive. DuPont's a pretty tough customer, and uh, Jonathan also is, too, but uh, there was some question as to whether he could hold them going against a guy like DuPont, but he did it. So they know the rookie here in... Uh... The Olympia in Detroit, he scored five goals here, and here's the battle. Oh, gee, wow. A pounding Jonathan on a Red Wing player, and he is just hammering him. And it is, we'll wait and see who it is. Can't be that big guy. It is the big guy, Hillworth, and Jonathan just pounded him. They called up Hillworth specifically for this. Milbury a shot saved by Tony Esposito, dropping to the knees at just the right time. A jam in front of Ashburn and Murray and Logan going at it. Wayne Cashman and Logan. Logan throwing four, five, six lefts in on Cashman. Cashman trying to come back. Logan very effective in the early going against Wayne Cashman as they tangle in front. Cashman a left-hander too, and uh, beyond doubt Logan is. Still standing off, letting them go. This Makita knocked down by Milbury. Right near it. And the linesman finally stepping in. Team playing in Portland. In the corner, Winston battling for it. Rick Smith trying to even out. Dead. Here's a battle. Winston going, throwing rights. Heavily on Hoyta. Dave Hoyta and John Winston. Two big heavyweights. And uh, Hoyta getting his licks in now. Winsick holding on as Hoyta keeps throwing the right. A real heavyweight battle. And now the jersey pull. And Winsick goes pounding in. And that's as heavy a hitting as you want to see. And both sides got their licks in. Dave Hoyta. A rookie for Philadelphia and John Wensing. And here's Walker and Jonathan. And down goes Jonathan. Kurt Walker. Jonathan giving away a lot on the big boy. And Jonathan has fought a lot of big ones. Kurt Walker taking him on here. They're kind of wrapped up. Jonathan trying to get free to get a punch in. Walker throwing them, and they're going at it. Jonathan trying to throw. Walker throws some good lefts. And Jonathan gets him down with that body lift. And the linesman atop the two. To Maloney, check. O'Reilly down on the ice, scrapping for it. It goes to McNabb, and now it is called. And O'Reilly jamming with Maloney, and there they go. Two tough heavyweights, Maloney and O'Reilly. And neither able to get free enough to throw a punch. Maloney pushes him to the boards. He breaks free and throws that left. Three by O'Reilly. Four, five, six, seven. O'Reilly throwing the left like mad. As O'Reilly did get free enough. 
pins Maloney there now, and they are two tired heavyweights, and the linesmen don't want to move in. They're so big and strong, both of them. Play by Murdoch. Jonathan trying to drop it out in front. Wraps up Murdoch. Oh, he could get a holding penalty again. They go at it. Here they go. They fought before Jonathan and Murdoch. And Jonathan, oh, knocked him down. And goes atop him. I tell you, he threw a left uppercut and flattened Murdoch. ready to go with eight seconds left and Jonathan went down in a quick flurry and then up in Wilson I have not seen Jonathan lose a fight he went down quickly in a quick flurry but uh, then he just lifted Wilson and he is so strong O'Reilly was hit by Glennie as the puck goes in, and here's O'Reilly and Maloney going at it again, right away. Maloney and O'Reilly flailing away at each other. O'Reilly check. Bolderev with it. O'Reilly jamming with Hoffmeyer again. They may go at it. They do. Hoffmeyer and O'Reilly. On the board. And O'Reilly. And pounding away with those lefts. Great play-by-play. -play. Here's Fred Cusick. Peter McNabb on the face-off against Kendrachuk, and it rolls to Bladen. Played out center ice where Rick Smith clears it up to Wensink, and it's in the Philadelphia zone. Wensink and Bladen go right at it. Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Slugging away. Bladen and Wensink still going. And Wensink getting some hard rights in. Oh, really crunching Bladen now. John Wensink got... A good stretch of rights in as they are still at it. And Bladen trying to tie him up and uh, Wensink really pounding and finally wrestles him down. And that is it. Wensink and Bladen. And uh, Bladen, uh, a rugged player, but not really noted for all that. Uh, Wensink, second battle. And Wensink this time wrestles him down. And Bladen, who fought Wensink in the first period with Wensink really pounding him. And now Rick LaPointe, not that famous for uh, fighting either, <laughs> took on Wensink. And uh, they'll both be going out. And the linesman are having a tough time separating them there as Wensink wrestle him down on top. O'Reilly and Bridgman may go at it now. O'Reilly throws the punch. Bridgman coming back with some hard rights. And Bridgman wrestles O'Reilly down. O'Reilly trying to get up. Bridgman pounding O'Reilly. O'Reilly gets up now. And Bridgman had the edge in this. O'Reilly flinging away with the left. Again is wrapped up by Bridgman. And O'Reilly trying to get the left free. Still going. Oh, he caught him with a left. He caught, oh, he got it back. O'Reilly finally caught Bridgman with a solid left. Throws another one. And incredible, O'Reilly keeps going. And now Rick Smith, Kindrichuk, ready to go. And finally being separated. O'Reilly and Bridgman. And that was a real tussle. As 
Jonathan goes down and bangs into DuPont, and there they go. Jonathan is out. Jonathan made a very bad move. Now he's going with Bridgman. Bridgman and Jonathan. Bridgman and Jonathan really going at it, and Jonathan's got an extra penalty anyway. And he's battling Bridgman and knocks him down. Bridgman could be a third man in. He is not giving a penalty to DuPont. For Jonathan. Jonathan bangs into Savard. The puck kept in. And the play was offside. The Bruins are offside on the play. Here's Bouchard and Jonathan going at it. Bouchard and Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan ripped a couple of subtle. Oh, look at this heavyweight battle. Look at Jonathan go. Jonathan. Oh, one last really. Stands Jonathan. Took on Bouchard. And O'Reilly is belting Lupian. Wait a minute. Wednesday has knocked down Lupian and pounding away. John Wednesday. And the fight's won by Boston. There's blood on Stan Jonathan, but that's Bouchard's blood, I believe. As he flattened Bouchard, bigger and heavier, and now Lupian is on top of Wednesday. Inside the line, Rick Smith cleared it back in its offside, and now Jonathan and Bouchard, here they go. Jonathan and Pierre Bouchard. Jonathan lands and right hands on Bouchard. Bouchard pounding away with the right hand. Now Jonathan with the left hand. And falls on top of Bouchard. We have another one going. Wensick pounding away at the other Montreal player. Uh, Lupian, I think it is. It's Big Jill Lupia. And now Lupia and Wensick. Now Lupia throws Wensick to the ice. And we have blood all over the ice inside the blue line. And Lupia and Wensick battle inside the Montreal line. They just won't quit. The referees are leaving them. I think John D'Amico is caught too. Now Wensick's on top of Lupian. Nobody else wants to get in on that one because they'd be thrown out of the game. They're awfully tired. Anyway, there it is. That's Wensick in the white and Lupian in the red. Now linesman John D'Amico, who was taking care of Pierre Bouchard. There is blood on the ice. Bouchard seems to be cut, and so does John oh, D'Amico. D'Amico was definitely cut very badly on that exchange. I think what's going to happen, that might be uh, Bouchard bleeding on John D'Amico. It, it looks a lot worse than it is. Boy, we, I tell you, I, I know the guys are ready, but this is getting a little bit ridiculous when something like this happens where one guy really, I don't know, that's one, one man's opinion, but what happened in, in the original fight was why all the blood? It's not as bad as it looks. I think Sam Jonathan just happened to hit Pierre Bouchard in the nose, and anybody who's been hit in the nose know that that's a vulnerable place for blood and that causes your eyes to water and I think that's what happened in that infraction. Over Canadian third out of right wing pass to Ray Sandler with Gainey. Over for Gainey. Back in! Alan Adorma's save with that right leg by Cheever. He had to move quickly. Now the Canadian Robinson in on the left side. Penalty coming up. There's the shot. Cheever's stopping it. He got a stick out against Rysaw. Rysaw of O'Reilly started to exchange punches. And Stickle gets in there quickly. A lot of milling about. We see dancing around, probably in front. And while there, as Brad Park is his partner. So the dancing is stopped and the penalty will be effect. Well, the goaltender was in on that one, Chico, one way or another, when it all began, but Reisbrow wasn't seen action all that much here tonight. Spun away up from Cheevers. Now we get Schmatz and Mario Trombley looking as though they want to, and now they are going to go. Trombley in the white sweater, Bobby Schmatz in the dark. 
Are they ever going to throw a punt? <laughs> because they're trying to convoy O'Reilly and Reitfrau to the penalty box. Newell hasn't stepped in the middle, and there has been a punch thrown. I imagine each is hoping the official will oh. gets the same reaction from the Montreal crowd that Stan Jonathan got from the Boston crowd the other night in his fight with Pierre Bouchard. All through that session, they were doing it to the accompaniment of the theme from Star Wars. It's being pumped out over the organ by the forum organist. I don't know if it's been bad blood between the Bruins and the Canadians, but there's been a fair amount of blood anyway. <laughs> well, that's true. I don't know if uh, there was any on that play, but... Well, they're trying. All right, we'll take a break. Tonight's Stanley Cup playoff game is coming to you from the Montreal Forum.